Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the best and most popular VPNs out there, NordVPN. Now, I've been both testing and using Nord for a while now, and I want to talk a little bit about what it has to offer, areas where it outshines some of its competitors, as well as areas where it could use a little bit of improvement. I'll also be giving a bit of a brief on what VPNs are and why you need to get yourself one in this day and age. And so, if you want to know a little bit more about VPNs or want to see if NordVPN is the right pick for you, stick around, as I'll be going over all of that and much more in this video. But before we jump into the video, if at any point you'd like to check out NordVPN for yourself, I'll be leaving all the useful links, including discounts, in the description down below. Alright, so if you're not familiar with the concept of VPNs, they're basically pieces of software that you download on your device in order to protect your internet traffic, change your IP address, and hide your activity from your ISP and anyone else trying to snoop on you. In terms of importance, I would compare it to having an antivirus, if not maybe even more important. And that's because in this day and age, something as simple as connecting to a public Wi-Fi network at an airport or cafe could result in your data being stolen, if there happens to be a malicious actor on that network at the same time. It could even be the network administrator who's stealing people's data. So let's say you're connected to cafe Wi-Fi and you did a bank transaction. If you're not using a VPN, they can basically tell what you did and could even steal your login credentials. But the benefits of having a VPN are not limited to just protecting your data. You can use VPNs to access movies or shows and other content that's not available in your country. You can also access the internet free in censorship heavy countries and even torrent safely if you're into that. Granted, the extent to which you can do these things highly depends on what VPN you're using, as some VPNs would set bandwidth limitations on torrenting, not have enough countries or optimized servers to support streaming, and in some cases put your personal information at risk. Which leads us to the star of today's video, NordVPN. Now Nord is what I consider a well-rounded value VPN, as it can pretty much do everything I mentioned above, but better, and even add value to their subscription that you wanted that you won't find anywhere else. How, you may ask? Well, let's take a look at all Nord has to offer, starting with the privacy policy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, some cheap or free VPNs would try to make a couple of bucks off of selling your personal information to third-party advertisers and even data brokers. But that's not the case with NordVPN, as they have a strict no-logs policy where they do not store, sell, or share your data whatsoever. They even switch their servers to be RAM only, meaning that these servers cannot physically store any data, and whatever is left on the server would be wiped out with every system reboot. And the cool thing about Nord is that they don't just claim that they do not log any data, because let's be real here, anyone could do that. They went the extra mile by going through several independent audits carried out by reputable companies such as Deloitte, all of which came back with overwhelmingly positive results that prove their commitment to their no-logs policy. And the cherry on top of all of this is that NordVPN operates in the privacy-friendly Panama, outside of any eyes alliance, which means countries that store and exchange their users' data. Alright, now let's talk a little bit about its ease of use. Out of all the VPNs I've tried, Nord was actually the simplest and most intuitive to pilot, and that's because it has this interactive map where you can just hover over any continent, zoom in to find the country you want to connect to, and click on one of the pins in that country to connect to a VPN server. This map is also pretty useful if you want a visual representation that would allow you to see which server is closer to you, or closer to whatever country you're trying to connect to. And there are plenty of these servers to choose from, 6,000 servers to be specific. Also, Nord has recently added India to their list of countries. And if you didn't know, it's very difficult to find a secure VPN that has Indian servers, especially one that would allow you to stream Indian exclusive content like Disney Hotstar. Which leads us to our next point streaming. I have to admit, Nord is one of the best, if not the best, VPN to stream shows. While I was testing this out, I pretty much got tired of digging deep for a server that would not allow me to stream certain Netflix libraries or any libraries as a matter of fact. All of its servers are optimized for streaming and could access most of the major streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, etc. And with the recent addition of an Indian server, this means that you can now watch exclusive Indian content like Disney Hotstar, Sony Live, and Z5. Alright, now let's talk about speed and performance. Yet again, Nord is right ahead of its competition in this regard and can be considered the fastest VPN out there, thanks to its fastest performing protocol, Nordlynx. But before we talk about the speed test results, it's important to note that you will experience a drop in speed regardless of which VPN you go with. However, how much it drops in speed is what separates good VPNs from lousy ones. Any drops between 10 to 25% is considered great, and even up to 40% is still considered good. With Nord, however, there were times where I've even reached 8% speed drops, which is unheard of, and the highest it has ever gotten was 25%, which is when I tried to connect to a faraway server to test its capabilities. This speed 
speed has allowed me to stream shows in 4K and maintain a pretty low ping while gaming with a VPN on. Oh, and there were even times where I was able to get ping lower than my base ping while playing games like Valorant and Warzone. All I had to do was find where my game server was and connect to a VPN server located near that server. If you want to try this too, just make sure you have NordLinks on, as it will get you the best speed results. As for torrenting, NordVPN fully supports it without any bandwidth limitations, like I mentioned earlier. Actually, they even support torrenting activities as they have P2P specialty servers optimized for exactly this. Though this does not mean that other servers do not support torrenting, they all do. It's just that you can use these specialty servers if you want a little bit more security while doing anything related to torrenting. As for other specialty servers, there are dedicated IP servers that would give you the same IP address every single time you connect to the server, which really comes in handy in preventing any issues with your bank as they might see conflicting IP addresses and flag your activity as theft or something of the sort, even though it's clearly not. There are also multi-hop servers that would allow you to connect to several VPN servers for double the security. Going back to torrenting, Nord also has a bunch of other features that would really help out when it comes to torrenting. For starters, there's a kill switch that would immediately sever your internet connection if, for whatever reason, you accidentally disconnected from the VPN server. This would leave no holes in your defenses and would basically stop anyone from snooping in on your data the second you're not connected to a VPN server. One thing to note, however, is that this kill switch can only be turned off on Windows and devices running Android 8.0 and above. So if you're a Mac or an iOS user, you're going to have the kill switch always on by default. There's also this split tunneling feature that you can use to route whichever apps you want through the VPN and which ones operate normally. For example, I personally use this feature to route my torrenting software through the VPN tunnel while I'm playing video games normally. This would protect my torrenting activities without actually needing to connect every single app to the VPN. With that being said, this feature is only available on Windows 7 and 8.1, Windows 10 and 11, Android and Android TV, meaning that unfortunately iOS and Mac users won't be getting the full NordVPN experience. Though this is not entirely on Nord. Other top VPNs like Express also do not offer this feature for these two platforms due to the restrictive nature of Apple devices. So it's basically an Apple issue, not a Nord issue. Moving on from torrenting, Nord is loaded with other features that can be pretty useful. For example, you have the threat protection feature, which acts like a mini antivirus for your devices. It can basically block ads and malicious malware, protect you while you browse the web, and scan files you download to detect and eliminate any threats before they can damage your device. You also get to customize your DNS to improve your speed and add a layer of security to your activities, as well as a dark web monitor that will keep an eye on the dark web for any data leaks and alert you if any of your personal information, such as your email or passwords, have been leaked. Other than that, you also get a mesh net feature, which lets you create a private network connecting multiple devices over the internet, no matter where they are located. For example, if you're on vacation or working outside the office, you can access files on your computer or any other device that is a part of the mesh net remotely and securely with NordVPN. Okay, so with all that said, and done, would I actually recommend this VPN for you? Well, absolutely. You'll be getting the most well-rounded value VPN on the market. It has lightning fast speeds, supports all streaming and torrenting activities, and has loads of features that give it this insane value for a very reasonable price. No matter what you want to do with this VPN, be it streaming, gaming, torrenting, or even just using it to secure your devices, Nord can do all of that at such a high level. Other than that, it supports pretty much all devices, be it Android, Windows, Mac, iOS, or even Linux, and you can have up to six simultaneous connections per subscription. Also, you can try it out for 30 days thanks to their 30-day money-back guarantee and get a full refund if you're not satisfied with the service. But I honestly doubt you want to do that in the first place. And that would be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discount possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.